now let's say that we'll try to learn about the slots concept so i am removing this one all okay so i am removing this one all let's say i am having one button okay one button here i am having one href is equal to user profile so one one button i am having here so i am having another button uh home and here i can have another button so let's say that i am having some multiple buttons so same the example i will take it the same example so we are having three types of buttons let's see that how the output will come if you try to see here we are able to see three buttons right so you are able to observe that right, right? so these three buttons we are able to see it user profile home about we know that bootstrap is already installed in our system so let's try to add some bootstrap classes btn btn hyphen primary okay so class is equal to btn 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 hyphen primary like this i will try to add so btn btn hyphen primary if you try to see the output so this is the output we are able to see okay fine so now let's we can add it something like that so now we are having the same type of html uh, so duplicated right so why can't we create a button component and we why can't we use it like this okay let's try to create a component in the post component in the product component so here i will create a new one they have created a, some fancy button right i will try to create the same thing fancy button dot view so we will be having one template all the time i will write team team i don't know template so we are having one view anchor link i will use this anchor link same thing class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary the user let's try to add some user and here we are having some script oh sorry we are having one script export default let's keep it like this only so now we are having this fancy button and let's go on to this one so i am removing this one all here i am importing the fancy button the component import fancy button from i don't know from where it is let's try to see in the components right in the components fancy button it is there yeah so let's import this component fancy button and here i will be using this fancy button so fancy hyphen button so i need to use two buttons so i will be using three three buttons so this is the fancy button we are using let's see the output so we are able to see the same thing but the same but the two buttons are coming three buttons are coming as user 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 okay so we can send it as a props here button name name is equal to so here i can use it user user data or something like this and another one is name is equal to uh, pro home and another one is something like name is equal to logout or anything any button name so we need to use the single quotes here why because i am using the colon right so this will think as a variable or otherwise you can remove this colon and you can remove this single quote also so for example you can write it without like this means then you can remove this one whenever you are using this uh, colon means if you remove this one it will think that home is a variable name and it will search for that variable name with no name home so you can remove it like this so either way is okay but you need to understand so now we have name and let's go to the fancy button here we will get it as a props so what is that one name right so name i can use it and here instead of this one i can use something like name so we have used the name now let's try to see the output user data home logout we are able to get the same output but this time we have divided this one into a separate component now what i want to do is so i am dividing i am giving some spaces between those two yeah so now what i want to do is i want to add some fancy icon icon here so font or some icons are there right so let's try to include the cd and js 
font awesome yeah let's try to take it let's include the font awesome icon so here we are having this one right so i'm copying this one let's go into this one and uh, where is this index.html i'm adding it here yeah so i've added the fans uh, icon and here i will try to add em class is equal to and here we'll be having a fa open solid something like that fa open folder a, a, some some names will be there i didn't remember exactly whether we'll get it or not we'll see so we are able to get some folder symbol right some folder symbol some icon we are getting. but three of these icons are, but three of these buttons are getting same icon but i want to depend so the user has to depend if it is a user data means he will give some home icon <coughs> some user icon home means home icon so like this he want to define his own icons but here we cannot define it why because this is a component so we cannot define it so for this one what we can do it is so here we can remove this one and here in between this fancy button okay i can add it like this so in between this opening and closing components i can add it like this and in between this one also i can add it like this so here i can use something like file and here i, I don't know exactly oh user i will use user whether it will come or not i don't know so in between this one so now we are adding in a such a way that in between these components we are trying to use it here so if we try to open this output we are not getting any output right we are not getting any output now whatever the html content we are writing in between this opening and closing component so we can make this available here <coughs> so how can i mention it is so we have a special type of element name that is nothing but slot okay so whenever you mention the slot so the co the content whichever you are mentioning in between this one this content so that whatever the content you are mentioning it here the whole content will come in the place of this slot here so now if you see the output see immediately we are able to get three types of different types of icons so the button is like that only but here we are able to mention this one the component in between this one so we are able to get the output so this is called as a slots thing okay so now we are able to overcome a particular situation that for all the components whichever we are using we are trying to use it this one so we are able to overcome this one so this is called as a slots option so if you try to see here in the view js so here this is the slots fancy click me something like that so here they are trying to use the slot so whatever the thing he is trying to use it so he can he can use it directly so here the slot content something he has given <coughs> so here see whatever the thing he is trying to use it the content between this one we can directly use it as a slot option okay so this is called as a slot thing so the slot thing render scope okay these are all the things we, we will try to learn it one by one so this is the basic slot slot introduction so however you want to use it is so like this we can use it whatever the content you write between the opening and closing component name we can use it with the play the, the content will be placed in the slot wherever you are using this slot name this is called as a slot slots basic thing 